Hi, so I have not uploaded on here in a while. Uh, I kind of created this channel on a whim when I was having a bit of a hypomanic episode when I also developed an obsession with refurbishing furniture. And I'm not hypomanic right now making them again, but I did know that it was good stress relief to get stuff off my chest and potentially help someone. I saw that my lupus video got 35 views, which mm, that's a big deal to me. Um, but I wanted to give a little life update about all things that I've talked about. Um, my bipolar and anxiety and all things related to that are being very well managed. Um, I altered my antipsychotic dose and uh, I was dealing with some akathisia um, and so we had to tweak it until that went away, and I'm still not totally comfortable taking a drug that has the potential to do that to me, but since it's not happening anymore, I'm okay with it, and it seems to level my moods out really well, um, so that's fine. Um, I developed some problems with insomnia, which aside from when I've been, like, out of my mind manic and stayed up all night every once in a while, that's never happened to me, but over the last, like, month, I've had issues not sleeping at all for, like, a night, and then barely sleeping the next night, and then maybe, like, going to bed at a normal time, but waking up at one in the morning and being ready for the day, and mm, getting, like, a grand total of seven hours of sleep a week is not a way to function, I found out. And I was actually trying to laugh it off because I thought, especially being bipolar, that was normal, so I was just dealing with it. And my friend, who is also bipolar, let me know that is not okay. And my mom, who worries about everything bipolar, told me that is not okay. So I told my psychiatrist, and I started, um, I can't for the life of me pronounce the generic name, but the brand name is Sonata? Sonata? Something like that. Um, it's basically short-acting Ambien. And he kind of scared me when I got prescribed it because he said, take it, go to bed, don't get on your phone, don't call anyone, mm, do you have problems sleepwalking? And I was like, kinda, but I've had no issues with that and um, so far I have finally been getting some rest. It took a night or two for it to actually work, which I wasn't sure it was supposed to, but now I'm feeling rested and I really feel like myself again. And I think that my sleep problems was what was making me have like breakthrough hypomania and mania. Um, I haven't had to deal with any depression lately besides situational and just probably hormonal related breakdowns that last for like 30 minutes. But um, yeah, my birthday was last weekend and I went to... Um, the city that I used to live in and saw a bunch of my friends and celebrated and had an absolutely awesome time. Um, as for lupus update, um, I've yet to select a treatment per se, um, but my pain, I was having really bad pain in my legs. It felt like shin splints, but considering that I can barely walk anyway, it's not shin splints. Um, I had been on tramadol and it made me very, very, very sick and I couldn't take it so I just wasn't taking anything for pain there for a while, but um, I persuaded, I guess, my um, rheumatologist to prescribe me gabapentin and it's been a total life changer um, and I think that has also helped my mood because I at one point was prescribed gabapentin uh, prior to being prescribed Xanax help with anxiety and it just didn't do anything. but. I think just a low dose that I'm taking throughout the day to help with the pain um, is balancing out my mood as well. But I'm not going to say I'm pain free, but I have the lowest amount of pain that I've had perhaps since I was um, 18. Uh, I mean, it stopped my leg pain immediately. Just the like little electric shock type pain that I have has gone away. I've not used my cane in months. Um, it's really, I hate calling any drug a miracle drug, but it's kind of been a miracle drug. Um, also been very sick with allergies. Don't know if that's a lupus thing that I'm more vulnerable to that, but uh, I'm just very anxious to get my flu shot once I get better from the allergies, because they won't let you get one if you're sick. Um, 
So I'm waiting on that. Um, I'm also waiting, hopefully, I'm going to be moving back to Kentucky to go uh, back to school and finish my psychology degree, which I'm super pumped about. Um, I feel like I'm finally at a place mentally where I can handle being away from home and being my own support system or adapting to a new support system. I think I'm at the point where I can reach out for help if I need it. I think I'm at the point where um, I can take care of myself know when I need help, know when I need to ask for help. So I'm just ready to get this show on the road. I feel like I have postponed my life for one reason or another for so long, and I, I, I'm ready for it. Um, so that's my little update for now. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, hopefully I can have something more interesting or I can think of a story or something to tell you. But just wanted to give a short little update. Um, and... If you have any suggestions for videos or questions about medications or just anything, I'm very open. This channel is very early in its life, um, and I like doing these. So, yeah. Goodbye.